All right, guys. Welcome back to episode 39 of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. Um, I kind of wanted to get this episode out earlier, a couple days ago, maybe even, yeah, like, like a few days ago. But I had some issues with my main computer. Um, I actually still don't have it fixed. I am running off my laptop right here. But uh, I should still be able to pretty much be the same thing. The mic quality might be a little bit different. Um, I am using the same mic. I just don't have the same settings set up. Uh, but uh, we'll see how this goes. I think it should be should be fine. Um, one thing I am noticing is I think I don't have... Oh, hold up. Hello, why can't I shoot him? There we go. This is messing me up. Can't shoot this guy. Why not? I have battery. There we go. That was weird. I couldn't shoot him. Um, so one thing I am noticing, some textures are not what the, like what I normally have. <clears throat> and that is because I do have the, um, the freebies mix, but I don't have the faithful. I just realized, but that, that's fine. It's not gonna be a huge deal. Um, again, I am getting my computer fixed, hopefully sometime this week. Um, and we should be back to to that guy. Uh, but yeah, anyways, today what I want to do is a couple things, actually. Um, first off, I need to make some flux or fluix crystals. Fluix crystals, yeah. It should just be these. Um, there we go. How much does that give me? Two stacks? Oops. I don't think I'll need that much, but here, just in case, put a little bit more. I am walking slow. Let's get some, some rice in here. All right. So yeah, we have some fluid crystals and that is because um, so I've been wanting to upgrade my void or miner to the next tier and I have everything else pretty much um, But I didn't realize oh, I need four of these. I have two. Okay. I have to make two more uh, I didn't realize where was it? Oh No, this guy here the structure frame the upgrade for a structure frame. So we have Terax we can do that um, Everything else we have the fluid plate though. We didn't have uh, we just didn't go that route for the applied energistics. That's why we didn't have any. Um, so yeah, I just had to make some. Uh, it's pretty much just drop the charge surface quartz and a nether quartz and one redstone, and it gives you two. So yeah, so we have we have that as to turn them into plates. That shouldn't be too bad. Um, you know what? I should probably make a spot here for them. Uh, I'm be I've been running out. You can see how I added another one here. I might add. I'll just put this guy here again as well. Uh, I do want one stack. Why did it double click? There we go. One stack to turn into plates. And I think that should be enough for the structure frames that I need. Um, so I'll go ahead and get that going as well. Once I have the plates here. <clears throat> oh, I did get it again. Okay. Anyways, and then the other thing I want to do is uh, continue our quest line here. So if we go to tier three, uh, the next thing we got to do is the industrial blast furnace. Uh, so if we look at this guy, I think we have everything. I have em empowered emiratic. Um, I made a bunch of that, or I made like a couple blocks of that, along uh, uh, as well as the diamond ones. But I got to make two more diamonds. Um, but yeah, I have this. Um, what else does it need? Uh, the advanced alloy plates we can make, uh, refined obsidian plates we can make, copper, copper, nickel. I think we've done that already before as well. Um, so I think we have everything here. I just got to get it set up. Uh, yeah, everything should be done. So let me go ahead and get that going. Um, and then the last thing I want to do, if we have time, if we have time, um is see if i can get a personal nanobot beacon now what this will do is give me buffs um anywhere in the world i think in, in any dimension i i hope i think 
Um, I can't remember exactly how it works, but I can, for example, I can do create a flight or I can do a regen. Um, and as I upgrade it, I can add more. Um, but to get this guy, you need the ranged one. So the ranged one acts like a beacon. So these are pretty much beacons, right? So this acts like a beacon, like a larger radius beacon. Now, um, the personal one, I think, like I said, I think the personal one works anywhere in, in any dimension, but the range one does have a range or, or, or at least it's in the same world. I think, um, again, I don't remember how they work, but I think the, I'm pretty sure the personal one is better. It does require a range one, but to get this, uh, I can get everything except for the beacons. Um, and to get the beacons, pretty much we just need another star. So that means we got to go kill some withers, which we haven't done in this episode at all. Um, or I can maybe try to combine it with some stuff here. Possibly. That could be an option, but I, I think I want to kill the, kill some withers. We, have, we haven't killed any withers. Um, and we should be able to kill them, no problem. Uh, so the only problem is uh, we need some uh, wither heads, right? I think we only have a couple. Uh, wither, sorry, not heads, skulls. Yeah, we have three, so we can do one wither. We need two more withers, so we need six more skulls. So I might go ahead and grind that in the nether. Um, it shouldn't take too long. I do have luck on my my crossbow and stuff. Uh, where do I have it? I think I have it in here. Oh, I don't have my key binds. My, my B doesn't work for my backpack. Uh, what's the default? I don't know what the default is. Here, I'll just do this. <laughs> um... Yeah, I have uh, luck two on my rapier. I don't know why I only have luck two. I can get that up to three. I should get that up to three. And I'm pretty sure I have luck on my bolts. Luck two as well. Why do I only have two? Okay, I got to get this up to three. For some reason, I'm not sure why I have two. Um, I could also try to get the beheading one. Behead. Um... So to get the beheading, I think it's either a cleaver or there is a modifier. Uh, I got to remember what it is to get it. <clears throat> uh, if I can. Oh, man, where are these books? Oh, here we go. Materials and you. Sorry, I was looking for this book. Just found it. Uh, but yeah, if we look in here, there is a behead modifier that we can add um to our weapons beheading here we go oh that's easy one ender pro and one obsidian so we can add we can add that and we should get the wither heads fairly fast um and that should be a thing we can possibly do if we have time we are here at the tool forge i just wanted to show you guys the um cleaver that i am making uh you can see here that um I'm doing the blade with the manulin, a the large plate with uh, os, os glass, osgo glass, um, the tough tool rods, one with signalum, and one with uh, bloodwood. That way we get the eco ecological, um, and then we get bloody mary for both of them. Um, so I'm not too sure. M maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll do it like this for now. I I want to switch one of these up later on. I'm just not sure what to use at the moment. Uh, but you can see here all the, the trace that we get. And because it is a cleave, we get beheading two. Um, so that's actually really good. And then I can add one more with the inner pro and obsidian here. So let's go ahead and craft that here. Let's add that beheading three here. Uh, I don't know if it goes further than that. Um, it might actually, but that counts. Each one counts as a modifier. So I just don't want to do it right now. I want to make sure we have some luck in there. Luck it is just one modifier for the whole thing. Uh, I need some more, but I can get that. And then I want to add a bit of speed because it's, it's a cleave and it's actually pretty slow. Um, so let me just show you guys.
So you see when it comes fully up, that's when technically you're ready to attack again. So yeah, it's actually pretty slow. Uh, what I do want to finish off is the Lapis. There we get the losing three. There you go. Now we have looting three. We have everything else pretty much ready. So we're going to use this guy to kill some withers later. Uh, again, not sure if I'll have time to show that in the episode. But um, pretty much, sorry, not the withers. We're going to kill wither skeletons. And then maybe do the withers for next episode or in between episodes. We'll see. All right. So um, other than that. I did finish off the Void or Minor Controller Tier 3. Um, and again, this is going to help us with, with some some good stuff. Specifically, it was the... Uh, what was it? Um, this stuff down here. So, the Carmen Sign, the Lithium, Tiberium, Jaxium. All this stuff here, Duranite, Osram... Ezo, this is definitely going to be a big one. Um, Ovium. Yeah. All these ones. Not sure about these guys here. Actually, box Boxite might be a good one too. But these guys are going to be super helpful. Uh, so we're going to start getting some of those. And I kind of... There was something else on the tier 4. If I can find it. Uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, here we go. In the tier four, we can start getting some meteorite, so that might be a that might be something we might need to work towards as well. But either way, we need a tier three first to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this done. I have all the rest of the blocks that we need here. At least that should be it. Um, and I did have to open up the space a little bit bigger uh, because this one is going to be, I think, eleven by eleven now, and the previous one was seven by seven. Uh, should be able to do that and I should be able to start crafting it oh one thing I didn't do for me can I click? yeah I blocked this off that way I didn't have anything fall down there we go okay let me start doing this again okay I'm missing a couple blocks uh, I can put them in manually looks like there's one Oh, right, because of this stupid light over here. And then this last frame right here. I found it. Okay, so that should be complete now. There we go, assembled. And it's starting to mine again. Yeah, I had to open up this space a little bit bigger. Um, it was, I think it was, we had that um, 9 by 9. Uh, so, but this is a 11 by 11. So yeah, it is bigger now, and it actually cut through to our little mining hole that we have here. <laughs> um, but that shouldn't be too big of an issue. Um, the next size, I think it's 13 by 13, so that's even going to cut like right through it. Which, again, I, I, I haven't really gone down there much lately anyways. So that shouldn't be that big of an issue for me here. Uh, but yeah, we have that guy at tier 3. That is going to start giving us some better stuff here. Um, now, might need to wait a little bit before it starts getting the new things. And I got to make sure I have a spot for them in our storage system here. Uh, but I think I do because most of them are like these blocks that I've gotten manually before anyways. So I should be fine on that front. Um, but either way, I will come up and check in a little bit. So, aside from that, I also finished the Industrial Blast Furnace. Now, this is a multi-block, so I think I need to get the um, the frames as well. But that should be part of the next quest. So I, just, I didn't want to get ahead of myself. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and check this out here. Yeah. Okay. So, we got a bunch of actually pretty good rewards. So, I, I like that. We get a Platinum Coin, which is nice. And then it says input rate is 512 FE per tick. 
Okay. All right. Not bad. Um, but yeah, these advanced machine frames. These are the ones. So we need 20 of them, uh, which actually pretty easy to do. I'm pretty sure we have everything to do that. I actually made a, um, a crafting thing for it. So 20. Oh, we're missing some steel. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I kind of haven't done much steel. Do I have any blocks I can turn? I can. That might be just enough for us. Got to start making some more steel. Or actually with the industrial blast furnace, we'll be making steel a little bit faster as well. Um, machine. Machine frame here. That should be everything. Yep, there we go. So that might take a little bit of time depending on what needs to be actually crafted here. Yeah, okay, so I think these guys might might take a bit of time, but shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and that is the next quest done here. So looking ahead a little bit, looks like we're also going to need some reinforced machine casings. Uh, so I didn't really do that. Let's see, reinforced. Machine casings, these guys right here. Um, okay, so that's gonna use the advanced machine frames along with some more. St okay, yeah, we're gonna need some steel and some copper nickel, which is fine. So, steel is gonna be our downfall right now. Um, let me go ahead and grab some iron and some coal here. Do have some block of coals that I made. Okay, let me go ahead and all oh, right, do coal coal here. Okay, that's fine. Let me make these into blocks. That's gonna take a bit of time. Um, pretty much everything we're doing right now is gonna take a bit of time. But I'm trying to decide where I want to put these this industrial blast furnace. I'm not exactly sure how big it is. I've never really worked with Tech Reborn before, um, but I'm hoping maybe I can fit it. If it's like a three by three, I can fit it in the middle here and move these ones to like the side or something. That way we have all the Tech Reborn stuff on one one little area. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. If it is three by three, if it's bigger than that, uh, we might have to just move it elsewhere, but uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, so this is actually quite a bit later. Um, I needed a lot more st steel than what I anticipated, but I think we have everything here because we need, uh, I think it was 34 reinforced machine casings here. Um, yeah, there we go. Perfect. So that is that next quest done as well. Um, so let me just show you guys here. I completed this quest and it gave me 14 more. So that gave me enough to create the 34 that I need here to place down the actual multi-block for the blast furnace. And yeah, so the good thing about the blast furnace is three by three by four. So it's three wide and four tall, which is actually good. That's perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Um, I'm confused where the blast furnace itself goes, um, but we'll see how this works. Let's see. I have it right here. I do have the wrench with me. You need the wrench to break the tech reborn stuff else you have a chance or I don't know if you have a chance or they always break into just the casing, which is not what you want. Um, I did have to move the rolling machine here temporarily because I needed more of the copper nickel stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm going to break through here and I'm hoping that it doesn't go too far back. Actually, you know, should be fine. I do have some other stuff, some wiring back here. That's not the cleanest, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So I think it is like this. So three, and then it said eight with the middle hole missing. So this is what I'm kind of concerned about. I might have to redo this, but we'll see what happens. Okay, we want those two hollow, and then the front like this. Ah, there we go. Now we have it. That is the multi-block done for the industrial blast furnace. So now we can make steel better or faster. I'm pretty sure because I'm pretty sure this guy is faster than the blast furnace from uh, what's it called? Engineering. 
the engineering mod. <laughs> Can't think of the name right now. Um, but what I do need to do is grab you and go like that. That way you have power. Um, and I can probably make some more of these upgrades as well. Something getting damaged. I'm not sure what it is. Something upstairs. And it's dead. <laughs> Alright, but yeah. We have this done. And yeah, with the overclocker upgrades and the, well, the energy storage just helps it store more energy. Um, that should be pretty much done. We're done here. Let's check out the, the quest book here. Well, what do we get here? Oh, wow. You know what? We get us a premium large sword blade. I could have possibly used that. Um, although, I guess I could break it down back to premium, maybe. Uh, we'll see. And we get another carpenter, which is actually useful. Um, and then it wants us to make some titanium. So to make titanium, it uses the industrial blast furnace and we get the small pile of dust or the titanium dust and put it in there, um, which I think we got last time when we were making aluminum, right? Titanium, yeah, we have four of them and we have a bunch of these guys here. So we can at least test it with this. There we go. So it is a little slow still, um, but it is a blast furnace and it has to heat up. Well, I guess it's already heated up. I wonder if you can get it to heat up higher though. Not sure how you would do that here. Cause at least this bar, it seems like it's only halfway, right? Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens here. We need eight titanium, we're making nine. So that should be enough. And let's see what else is after that. Oh, what's up here? Ruby dust. So it wants us to make some ruby dust. Let's just, just crush some rubies. Sure, we can do that. All right. So we have the ruby dust here. I think you just need a nine for the quest. There we go. And then that brings us into some chrome dust. Um, so chrome dust, we need the electrolyzer looks like. And just, I guess just from the ruby dust, it gives one, one per. So that's actually pretty good. And we get some aluminum out of that. That's actually really good. Um, Sapphire gives us the same thing, but then we get dark ashes. What is that? Compressed air. What's dark ashes? Just make ash out of it. Okay. <laughs> um, and then... Not sure what this overwrite is, but I don't think we have any of that. That gives some calcium and some platinum and some other stuff along with two chrome dust. But yeah, uh, I guess we should be able to go ahead with um, just the ruby with the empty cells. That should go. I might, yeah, let me steal a couple of these guys. All right, so we have the ruby dust that made the chrome dust now. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab that here. And I think this guy's also almost done with the titanium. But the chrome dust, I think now it wants us to, yeah, make some chrome ingots. So it wants us to make two in the blast furnace. So we need the blast furnace anyways. There we go. Um, so that, you know what, that's going faster. I guess it depends on what you're making. Uh, but yeah, we have the titanium and that is going to complete that quest. And looks like that's blocked now, or at least it's done until we continue over here. Um, what is this hyperlink card? Not sure what that is, but I think we might be done here. Once we get the chrome ingot here, that might be the end of this episode. We got the blast furnace. That's a big thing for us here. Um, it looks like along the way on making the blast furnace, we also completed a couple other quests over here that we can claim. So you can go ahead and do that as well. Okay, nothing too crazy. Oh, I am full. Let me 
put some stuff away. But yeah, anyways, um, we should have the chrome ingots. And that should, let's see here, let's grab this as well. Let's grab the chrome ingot reward as well. And finally, it wants us to make a hyperlink card. Can we do this? What's this for? A hyperlink card is something like a state of the art memory card that only uses high quality, uh, used in high quality machines. Now, what's it for? You know what? I can do this. I can make the plates here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Good thing I made three of them uh, of the chrome ingots. Oh, I guess it gave me the other one. Okay. So let's do that. Let's make this hyperlink card hyperlinking card from overloaded huh okay so we have one of them um and then it wants us to do cantharo heating coils he goes on oh that's how you increase the heat level okay that makes sense that makes sense <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so we need three more chrome ingots, three refined iron ingots, which we have to make. I think this has to be in the... Oh, I guess I can do it in the induction smelter. Uh, let, me, let me try doing that. I took the time to make a few more chrome ingots here. Um, why is there a spider? Be down here or something. I don't know what's going on. Uh, because we needed four of these cantho heating coils, uh, and one craft only makes three of them. But now that we have four, that should complete the quest here. We get a couple boosting mixtures. That's actually good. Five boosting mixtures. And then, what is the next quest here? Oh, up here. I forgot about this. Okay. But looks like we finished off the um, industrial blast furnace area. And then the next quest, it wants us to do the rock crusher from nuclear craft, which is actually good. We, sh we should get into that anyways. So yeah, we got that done. That is perfect. I love it. So that will be the end of this episode, guys. Uh, I think we did some pretty good progress today. Um, we got the uh, industrial blast furnace from Tech Reborn set up. It's actually really good. Uh, we got the upgraded uh, void ore miner to tier 3. Um, again, I kind of want to go to tier four. I got to double check what I need for that. Uh, maybe I'll get that going for next time. Um, I, I didn't really touch on the nanobot stuff. Um, but maybe I'll, I'll do this in between episodes because I still need to go get the, the nether stars. Uh, so we got to go kill some withers for the skulls with these, with the new cleave that we made. Um, and then once we have enough, we'll kill some withers. So maybe I will... We'll get the skulls in between episodes and we'll do we'll start off next episode with killing some withers and uh yeah uh, what else did we do i think that's pretty much it but i think that was some good progress in general overall um but yeah guys that is going to be it for today um i just looked at my youtube channel and we just hit 100 subscribers i want to thank everyone who has subscribed who has uh supported me throughout uh, I've been on YouTube for maybe a couple of years, but honestly, like I, I don't do this full time, as you can tell. So, you know, it's it's appreciated um, to have people enjoy my, my videos, um, and hopefully, I get better over time. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate that, and hopefully, next time I do also have my main computer back up. Um, that way, I can. It's just a bit easier for me to to work with, just because I already have all the stuff set up over there. Um, but yeah. That is going to be it, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And uh, have a great day.